Right, so uh, a lot of people have this idealistic attitude about painting. They think that somehow you just go in the booth and every time you go in there, you just spray it, do a certain thing, and and uh, when you get done, it looks perfect. But um, it really uh good painters are always good at hiding their stuff so this is raw paint this is how it looks before you do anything to it now the trick is is trying to get it smooth enough to where you don't have to do as much to it so and every once in a while you know one out of i don't know how many things you spray depending on how often you're doing it um you get one that, you know, you walk away and it's just perfect or really, really close to perfect or you just leave it that way and it looks good enough. And that's the myth that people have is they figure that car paint just goes on and it just comes out perfect. Now, this thing's just a work truck, so it's not it's supposed to be perfect. Um, it just was looking like crap and... Uh, I just wanted to make it look better. And I think I ran short. I couldn't even see this happening when I was doing it. But I got a big curtain right here. Which is not a big deal if you use good materials. And people go, oh my god, that's terrible. You just color sand and buff it out and it's gone. You know, that's the thing. The, the trick is, is get it smooth enough. You're not looking for, like everything will be like that spot right there where everything's just so perfect you know every once in a while you get lucky and that happens um but you just want it to be smooth enough to where easily you can just color sand and buff it or you have to do little like this thing i definitely won't be doing anything from the lower portion of it um i'll probably just color sand and buff this section i mean the hood itself looks pretty much flawless i mean there's really hardly any dirt in it this is just stuff that fell in this isn't even in the paint so um you know there's uh all these things that but people think for some reason they think that the magic happens in the spray booth and it actually happens after so but, you know, uh, the, the trick is you got to get it smooth enough to where you can make it look really good after. As if you don't get it smooth enough in the spray booth, the worst thing, I'd rather have a couple of hangers like that than I would have a, a whole bunch of orange peel to sand out. Because orange peel is really hard to sand out. And sometimes you can sand it and sand it with a block and everything else and... When you go to buff it you can still see it especially on a really really flat panel so i was just trying out this different clear and so i wasn't quite used to it and uh yeah i got a few uh blemishes in it but they're really not too bad that's really just i could even just color sand those out and just leave it alone and it'd be fine for a work truck and everything and it's way better than it was if you saw the video on the Earl Scheib body work where you saw the door was all beat up I just quickly went through and straightened it I didn't do a real fantastic job in fact this this dent here looks pretty crappy didn't do a very good job on that one you can still see it but uh you know like I said I just went through here and just cleaned it up it's not looking to be perfect this quarter has been worked and worked a few times before I got the truck so I just ran over it and then uh, some of the polyester putty when I put it on uh, my hardeners were screwed up so it got it wouldn't get hard so I had to scrape it back off and of course that created more waves I could have sat there and you know primered it and reblocked it and primered it and blocked it and got it all out but like I said, I don't really care that much. Just trying to get it to look nice enough to where it doesn't look like crap driving down the road. 
and a little color sanded buff on this thing and it'll look really nice people will be like wow that's a really nice paint job with like yeah that's what you think it's all right so anyway um that's it for the 2003 chevy of course uh you know i'm not going to show spray demos um not unless i'm in a place where it's 100 percent kosher so this may have not been so i'm not going to say that it was or wasn't so uh anyway i'm gonna put the flyers back on then we'll do one look at it after it's all buffed out and then you'll see the difference because right now this is raw paint a lot of people look at raw paint and they go oh wow that's all it is yeah but you go through and do your work to it afterwards your polishing and stuff like that um if you guys watch guys like the gunman stuff like that he paints you know six seven spots a day so when he's doing that kind of volume you know he's not going to make very he's not going to make as many mistakes as the guy who does like one every two or three months so you know that's even custom the high-end custom guys you know, sometimes they only spray one every two or three months and they get more mistakes in them they just have to do more work to make them look right but anyway that's uh it for this truck i'll talk to you in the next video